and this is our video project and we're going to be talking about how atoms are essential for creating DNA. What is DNA? DNA is a molecule called deoxyribonucleic acid that carries the genetic instructions used in the development and reproduction of all living organisms. DNA contains two strands with several alleles on each side. These are nucleotides. In April 1953, James Watson and Francis Crick first presented the idea that DNA has two strands containing nucleotides rather than one. These nucleotides are held together by sugar molecules. So DNA is, is made up of sugars. Mmm, sugar. Mmm, sugar. Not necessarily sugar in that form though, just in the form of simple molecules. They hold the structure of nucleotides together, so basically sugars are a glue to keep things together. And as everything else in the universe, sugars are made up of atoms. Atoms are the fundamental pieces of matter. Everything in the universe, except energy, is made of atoms. An atom is made up of three tiny kinds of particles called subatomic particles. These are protons, which have a positive charge, electrons, which have a negative charge, and neutrons, which have a neutral charge. We didn't always know atoms had subatomic particles, though. In the 1800s, John Dalton believed that atoms were indestructible and unchangeable. In the 1890s, J.J. Thompson was the first to discover the electron. He used a cathode ray to find a negative charge. He described it as plums in pudding. When J.J. Thompson discovered the electron, he described it more like raisins in pudding. Later, in the 1910s, Ernest Rutherford used the gold foil experiment to discover protons which have positive charges. He found out why electrons orbit around the nucleus, and that is because of the positively charged protons located in the nucleus. He created the planetary model. So Ernest Rutherford and his colleagues, Hans Greger and Ernest Marston, used the gold foil experiment by shining light through the foil with holes in it to find the atomic nucleus and also that it has positive charges. Later came Nails Bohr, which agreed with the planetary model but noticed some flaws with it. Using the knowledge of energy and quantum physics, he created the current model, the Rutherford-Bohr model. To sum it all up, atoms make sugars, which make DNA, which make up us. So without atoms, there would be no us. Thanks for watching.